in our PhD in cognitive neuroscience in CISA, uh, we study uh, the uh, relationship between the brain and the behavior. I think one of the best features of our, our PhD is the fact that we have students from different parts of the world and uh, also from different disciplines. This enriches a lot the environment. In uh, my group, we are studying two new programs. Uh, one is food, how we perceive food, how we categorize food and uh, how we decide which food we're interested in. And, and the other program is, is uh, concerned with the, our social knowledge, how we understand the others, how we make our decisions about others. The students uh, in uh, our PhD work very hard because they have to do theoretical work as well as uh, um, experimental work and uh, they also have fun, so you need a lot of time for doing all these things. <laughs> Uh, in our lab, we are um, uh, trying to understand the neural mechanisms of uh, perception and we are using the tactile perception for this. In our experiments, rats uh, have to solve some tasks. They receive uh, tactile stimuli on, uh, on their whiskers and um, they have to make decisions based on the properties of this uh, stimuli. In my uh, experiment in particular, I am trying to understand how uh, two different areas work together. Uh, one responsible for the perception of the stimulus and the second one uh, responsible for making a decision. My question is uh, not only how the brain chooses the correct action, but also how the brain chooses when it's time to take an action. There are more reasons for which I chose uh, to come to CISA. First of all, I was already interested in neuroscience and uh, many people had told me that uh, CISA is a good place to come to and I decided to see what CISA is all about. I liked it and then I came here and I got accepted and I'm uh, very happy that I, I made this decision.